So tonight in me, the story is about David and Goliath. There was the Philistines and the Israelites were in a war. On one hill was the Philistines. On the other hill was the Israelites. On the Philistine side, they had a giant that was nine feet tall. His name was Goliath. He's all decked out in bronze armor from head to toe. He has a sword that weighs 150 pounds. He's standing on the hillside yelling, who can beat me? Who can defeat Goliath? For 40 days, he was on the hillside yelling, come at me, bro. The Israelites were so scared, they were shaking in their boots. On the same hillside in another city was a man named Jesse, who had four sons, three of whose name I can't remember, were old enough to go to war. But his youngest son, who wasn't old enough to go to war, David, was taking care of the sheep. Until one day, Jesse called David, told him to take his brother some Chick-fil-A. Did someone just say Chick-fil-A? Wait, you're doing bad time stories without me. All right, come on, Emmett. Are you sure he brought them Chick-fil-A? Yeah, you know, Jesus chicken. So when David did this, Goliath came out yelling again. Who can beat me? Who can take on Goliath? He said, who wants the smoke? All the Israelites were so scared they went here. When they did this, David asked, what's the big deal? What's the guy get that beats this Philistine? And the soldier said, great wealth and the king's daughter to marry. Wow. And the king hears David telling him, oh, I got this. I can take him on. And his brothers start laughing. And they ask him, what are you going to do? You just need to go back and take care of your little sheep. What does the king do? Well, the king hears David and tells him, you can't beat him. You're like a child. Goliath has been killing people for generations. He says, no disrespect, king, but my sheep don't get killed because I'm watching them. I've took a sheep out of a bear's mouth, and when the bear attacked me, I killed it with my bare hands. I've killed lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. What? Yeah, y'all probably don't get that one. Are you sure about tigers? Yeah, sure, why not? But David goes on to tell him, the God that had protected me from the lions and the bears will surely protect me from this Philistine. So Saul says, well, you may need to put this on. So he gives him his tunic and his armor. And David puts it on and tries to walk and says, nah, I don't think I need to wear this. He takes out his sling and grabs some rocks. That's it? A sling and some rocks? Yep. Then he takes his sling and his rocks and goes right after Goliath. Whoa. Goliath starts laughing because David's coming after him. He's laughing at him because he's a small little kid. He says, what am I, a dog? Do you want me to chase some sticks? David says, you come at me with a sword and spear, but I come to you in the name of the Lord Almighty. Today you're going down. So David pulls out a sling and a stone, starts swirling it around his head, and whoop, pow! Hits the giant right between the eyes, and down he goes hard in the dirt. You remember the sword? David takes his sword and cuts Goliath's head off. Awesome! Not that I cared, but did David get to marry the daughter? Yeah, I'm sure he did. Daddy. Yes, sweetie? Do you think tomorrow night mommy can read me a princess story? Yeah, sure. Blah, girls. <laughs>